We can do things to slow down the onset or the even likelihood of getting diseases of ageing. Picture, if you will, a shoelace. And at the end of your shoelace, there are little protective tips, often plastic. And if you imagine the shoelace is your DNA, then the protective tips at the end are called telomeres. Now this matters for our cells because if the DNA is damaged by losing the telomeres when they get too short, then the cells can't renew themselves. That speeds up aging and particularly it speeds up the onset of many of the diseases that plague us when we age like cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, dementias, even uh, stroke and uh, lung diseases. Luckily there's a lot of ways to keep your telomeres healthy and uh, one of them is, uh, is, is just getting some exercise. The great thing is that the telomere science told us that you don't need all that much exercise to have a good effect on your telomeres. Do you have to be a marathon runner? No, that's good, but you can walk three times a week for 45 minutes briskly, or you can make sure that your diet has lots of healthy foods in it. You know, things like fruits and vegetables and nuts and the kind of uh, foods that are called the Mediterranean diet. So telomere science and a lot of studies in humans have shown this is related to you maintaining your telomeres better. And that can explain why this diet has such good effects on people's health. We can see inside the cells that they're helping to slow down cell aging because they're helping to slow down the rate that the telomeres wear down. So there's a lot of telomere science that we can point to that gives us very good guidelines about what it is we can do to make a difference to our, our health and therefore, you know, our quality of life.